What's up guys, it's Ricky and uh, this is the first episode we are talking about this artist, uh, this producer, a musician who claims that uh, he was asked to join the Illuminati, they took blood, the Ramtatang Kalaja, Alaja. And so we're going to talk about that particular subject that has been brought to our attention. What? Eh? Mm -hmm. It has been brought to our attention, guys. I got my lamp. A lot of times, people really just want to be famous, no matter how, no matter which way, for anything and for any particular reason. And which is what I think about this. But I will give you my reasoning around it. It's the Rikshu Ali Show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. Um, now you may ask Ricky, what makes you an expert to be saying whether he has joined or whether he has not joined? I'm going to tell you my reasoning here, but let me read you certain parts of this particular article that I see over here. Uh, the particular article here st uh, states that this particular musician claims that uh, he was introduced even to DJ Khaled. I don't know if DJ Khaled is a member of anything. I don't know anything about that. I would like, I would, I would like to speak to things I know. He's from Kenya. He claimed that he, was, uh, he joined the Illuminati at 23 years old and he went on to be a member uh, between 23 and 24 and he's made his exit. So he left in a few months. He had money. Now, he, read, he joined the Illuminati fame and whatnot. We still don't know who he is, and he yet uh, lost thingy. Now, he doesn't state how he got the money here, whether he was just getting money without uh, being a popular musician part of it. Um, it doesn't really explain anything. But if you look into the whole organization of the Illuminati, it's to further you, you know, the particular role in which you, you play. He did manage to actually make an exit, but he didn't go unscathed. There was actually a car accident that actually happened. If you go back to the core foundations of the Illuminati, now the Illuminati, for those that do not know, it is a secret organization formed in the 1700s by a gentleman called Adam Weishaupt with a few of his friends uh, after this entire nine yards of them being part of the Freemasons and seeing that, uh, but then wanting to create another order within that particular uh, framework. And this was supposed to kind of be a smaller circle. But I want to quote something here that will tell you that most of these ninjas, they are just lying. They just want popularity at any cost. In Adam Weishaupt's uh, statement, he says something that goes with what I said previously. In the other videos when we spoke about uh, the, the, the soccer player who said that Tico Mudise, we stated it's not that they need everybody to join otherwise it's no longer a secret organization i said that also on the next DC episode but here i'm going to further it by showing you where did i get that idea adam vice out while they were busy putting up this organization he said something that is so crucial and the statement says illuminati should remain secret it should do remain secret appearing only as something else in other parts Note that it means that it wasn't meant for just Teletubbies to join. <laughs> for Teletubbies to join. When people come out here say they join the Freemasons or they join, yes, you can join the Freemasons if you have a sponsor. I've stated that again. Whenever you hear all these people come out and say they join the Freemason, wait for the part where they mention the sponsor. If you don't hear anything about that, the person is lying. And I repeat, <laughs> the person is lying. Join the Freemasons. You kind of need a sponsor. They just don't just bring you in. Number two, they don't know that the foundations of the Illuminati and the Freemasons was not to be out public. Now, the Freemasons, different role. That's why they have all these lower degree uh, Masons. Like uh, You can hear this in William Schnobelin's uh, testimony where he talks about it to say how did he actually rise above the rank is that the particular spirit that was moving him uh, in this particular organization was telling him certain things so that when he says them, they'll be like, okay, this one we can bring him up. Uh, but you never hear those things with most of these people. Why? They don't know nothing. <laughs> They're just taking off this craze that, that is there out there about secret societies and they say, I joined. Mostly lies. Like for instance, he says that they needed blood, but he doesn't state the process he went through to be joining the Illuminati. Note. <laughs> you join the illuminati which is a secret society within a secret society without being a member of the first one 
they are orders in these things. So it's like military military ranking and stuff like that. You don't just join, then you are you are Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that like you say you are fine. That you you are so willing to be a satanist. So something is wrong with you. Something disturbed you. Okay. So already that's off. Okay. How did you join the Illuminati without having joined the fe the, the first lower ranks? Go listen to the William Schnobelings. I think he explains some of these processes. But some of these people, because they don't know the processes, right? They come out say things that don't make sense. This brother's statement, this brother's testimony doesn't make sense. You might have joined a satanic organization, but it's not the Illuminati. Don't get that wrong. Don't get that twisted. Don't come out here <laughs> with the funny shenanigans. You didn't join the Illuminati. You joined a satanic organization. Just say it like it is. Now, I will refer back to that particular statement, which uh, Adam Weishaupt said in the founding parts of this organization. The Illuminati must not be seen out in the public as it is. It must remain within the shadows, only portraying itself in a certain place as something else. Now, what organization are you joining that does they even lie to you what they are? <laughs> they don't even have the guys to tell you you are not joining the Illuminati. You know the devil. God punish the devil. <laughs> nah, I, I doubt that. So not everybody that says this thing is actually a member and I've just shown you the particular reason. You can go research it, you can see what I'm talking about. I gave you references so that you can know where to find it, so that you can have second reference to know that, first of all, joining the Freemasons, you kind of need a sponsor, they're just not going to take just about anybody. Number two, uh, to joining the, the, the Illuminati, yeah, it's a secret society. In a secret society, it never uh, portrays itself. Number three, it never portrays itself as it is. It wants to be known something as something else when well, it's outside, so you didn't join that one. So already, those are three points that I'm pointing out. Off of the top of my head, I'm not even reading a script here. I'm just saying off of the top of my head, this testimony doesn't make doesn't make sense. You can go watch William Schnabel, who was part of these organizations, who gives a detailed information about how he joined this one, how he joined this one, what he needed to join this one, where they turned him and said, "Go back and get this one. Go go back and get." So in this video, I just wanted to highlight that this brother doesn't know what he's talking about. He wasn't a member of anything. He might probably join some satanic thing over.